What is going on YouTube? It is OG Mentor TG in here, and as you guys can see in the background, we are going to be continuing off of the video that I have uploaded a week ago. Uh, I have given it time for you guys to throw your comments in and to pretty much talk about why you get on this game every day, uh, what makes you play it pretty much, why do you keep playing it, and uh, as well, what do you think about the community as like a whole? So today we're going to go through... And I'm going to be reading your comments, you guys are going to be getting your words out there, and as well, uh, pretty much I'm not going to be reading all the comments. If you guys want to go, you can pause the video while I'm scrolling through, and you guys can read the comments yourselves. But uh, pretty much, we're going to be reading a lot of the good ones, so without further ado, uh, let's go ahead and get it started, guys. So moving on to our very first person that we have to talk about is Try Harder. He said, OG Mentor, I think DC is fine now, but it is still boring. I mean, like, in the present DC, a good update or few comes, like, after years. Well, I don't I don't think a good update or few comes after years. But, uh, the new Star Wars event came out, right? Correct. I, like, got bored of it within two days. DC was the best on the years of 2011 to 2013, I guess. Which I can agree on. I can agree that DC was very great back in 2011 and 2013. Because back then, people didn't really scoreboard chase. People didn't argue in trade chat that much. Uh, there was no such thing as uh, really that many scammers. It was more revolved around ninja looting. But at the same time, nobody really cared to be serious and competitive back in 2011 and 2013 there was nothing but fun dlcs that came out everybody wanted to help everybody pvp was fun before uh, like broken powers like rage and everything came out and you know you could do open world missions like vengeance uh dawn there was a whole bunch of open world raids alerts even uh i think there was even duos that you could do or solo missions out in the open world obviously with uh you know anything to do from dr light to you know multiple things so pretty much i can agree that from 2011 to 2013 that's when dc was really fun but uh, let's go ahead and read what else he says he says people who work for dc gotta wake up and understand they have to make this game alive back the, a the amazon fury 3 dlc like came around the corner in november but it's been like four months since they released a dlc and the next dlc is on in june in my opinion i'm maybe going to decide to quit dc after stats revamp is out peace now uh you know i kind of stuttered going through that uh i was thinking uh when i was reading this the reason why that you're seeing a dlc come out so late and it's coming out in june is because when they are releasing these dlcs if you remember back before when DLCs used to be released, they used to be every single month. They would release either a duo, a alert, a raid, or you know an open area that you can go and do everything at. But uh, pretty much they would release things as of like uh, you know one thing at a time. Like maybe one month they release a raid, one month they release an alert and a duo, or like one month they release a duo and a solo. And maybe like some open world missions that you have to do. So that's pretty much the main reason they're pushing towards uh, the big content releases. Because when they do big content releases, they're giving you the solo, the duo, the raid, the alert, and pretty much the outside missions all at once. And uh, pretty much on how fast you complete it is up to you. People like to throw replay badges into the game to go and get things done quicker. But uh, pretty much... Yeah, I understand what you're saying about, you know, how it's coming out very late, and that's the reason why. But uh, moving on, uh, next thing that we have is from the homie Nitro Prime. This comment has had my thumbs up on it, as well as a lot of other people's thumbs up. So that means a lot of you guys have agreed on exactly what he was saying here. But other than that, let's go ahead and read what he has to say. So he says what I think about this game. Well, I think it's a great game, especially for those who are a diehard fan of DC Comics and for those who are new. It encourages them to read DC Comics. Comics. So it is a great game. Well, it would have been a great game if it wasn't for the community. Which would be the answer to your question. What do you think about the DC community? I mean, no offense, and many can't deny the fact that the community is cancerous. I don't have to spill it out because there is always cancer in trade chat. And why do people make conversation there? I mean, it's trade chat. Most people go there, sell and trade stuff. But no, a lot 
drama and cancer always get in the way of the profit making. I mean, there's a group slash voice chat there for a reason. Take your beef to group and not to people and trade. You're just simply attracting more people to throw more fuel in the fire and bugging people who are trying to sell slash trade their stuff. And he says, as to what keeps me playing DCO every day, the answer to that is many, but overall and plainly because I love getting on every day just for my league, despite how slow the game is in terms of content and despite the community, I love playing with them and I always learn something every day from them. Also, seeing their skill points getting up in over 300 is what motivates me into grinding more feats, hence what's keeping me on this great game. Oh, he thinks it's a great game. And uh, he says he hates typos. But pretty much, uh, I can completely agree. Trade chat is meant for trading things. Uh, what I think they should have done, uh, Nitro, what I think they should have done, bro, is honestly, they should have made something called Global Chat. There should have been a thing called Global Chat, Shout Chat, Trade Chat, LFG Chat, and uh, pretty much, and obviously Say Chat. But those should be the main things that shape the whole entire core of the community and what could possibly keep... Uh, less trolling from trade chat and it could be more done inside a global chat where everybody can talk to everybody no matter if you're a metropolis gotham or the watchtower even a raid or whatever uh so moving on we have the homie lolums uh so as well nitro good job on that comment everybody agreed on it so uh pretty much moving on to lolums he says to be honest anytime i log in Rather it be on hate, oh, rather it be a while or not, I get hate, like, without fail, lol, and it's funny to me, so I guess that's what makes me jump on. I like a little bit of PvP, but it's dead as fuck. PvE is repetitive, so I can't be asked with that, and the community, most of it is corrupted. When I say this, I don't just mean players, even the devs. The proof is in the actions of all the players and devs. It is a very childish community with people who feel like the game is too personal and it hurts them in their soft spots. So that was Lolums or hashtag Harry Vagina for president. And uh, that was what he thought about this game. Which uh, if you guys want to get feedback on any of these comments I'm reading, go ahead and let's go ahead and move on to another one. Uh, this one seems like it's very detailed so let's see what he has to say. Uh, this is Agent Guard. So Agent Guard puts, why do I play DCO and what makes me want to get on every day? He says, I first started out playing DC because of my friend. He talked me into downloading the game so we could hang out and play something after he had moved away after graduating high school. Well, congratulations to him for that. And for the past few years, I haven't been able to play with him since his computer broke. So I've been working on designing for our league hall and for quite a while which is in part the answer to the second half of your question. Another reason is not really finding any other free to play MMO to be very good or crap top. Can't handle some of the specs. Oh my gosh. All right, so he says, what do you think about the DCO community? For the good part of the community, depending who you are talking to, people can be helpful and friendly. Uh, for the negative part, which is, you know, sadly most of the community, there are freeloaders, trolls, scammers, and just some nasty slash rude people out there. So, you know, like any MMO agent guard, there are the people who have the bad, the people who are good. Every MMO has their bad and good, pretty much. Uh, what I have to say, though, for this community, uh, there is a load, load more bad in the community than there is good. But uh, as I've said, things like trade chat, it pretty much all resolves and revolves around trade chat. Uh, if there was a global chat, you know, a lot of the trolling could be moved over to there and it could free up a lot of the, uh, you know, things that are going on in trade chat. It wouldn't really help for the scamming, but it would help for people who are always blowing it up and, you know, causing a nuisance, arguing in there and, you know, things that are such of that. So this person said, you think the PvP community will stop with all that talking shit and exposing and all that? I think that this is one reason the game is dying. It's sad to write DC on YouTube when the first is exposed. That, I have to admit, you know, there are a lot of beefs that happen in the YouTube community where people would love to just expose over the silliest things. Things as of PvP matches, things as of gear, the way your style looks. Uh... Mm, excuse me, skill points, uh, PVE, DPS comps, all of that. 
Uh, sometimes it makes it really fun with the DPS, com uh, DPS comps. But uh, when it comes to things as of like PvP and people get mad that you're breaking their gear. Uh, you know, it's things like that that uh, make people really not like this game, I guess. I don't know. But uh, question one from Curse D2O. He says he plays this game because he loves the game. It has its issues and bugs, but there is no other game like it. The uniqueness and your character's look is a big one. So many different styles and 300 and no other game is like that. Oh, over 300 and no other game is like that. The mechanics are unique and on its own. The power animations are awesome and I love comic books. I like playing with my friends and feeling like I'm a part of a comic book and having fun. So that's why he plays this game, that's why he gets on every day, because he loves it, he loves the uniqueness, and I mean, who doesn't? I mean, there's not really many other games like DCO out there that let you freely create your character, change the colors and everything. So uh, moving on to question two, the community. It's got its peaches and it's gotten its rotten tomatoes. And just like the real world, when you deal with a large number of people, I've met some really nice people, helpful people, and I've met some jerks. But I play both sides of the game and find that the dysfunctionals are more often found in the PvP community. But that also has a lot to do with our community manager maps not managing the community and keeping those Rotten Tomatoes in check. Overall, DC is my game and I'll ride it out until it dies. So that's a true fan of DCO right there. He pretty much, uh, he knows what the community is made of. He tries to stay his best on the good side of DCO and pretty much, you know, he just wants this game to go on a good path. He wants maps to pretty much manage a lot of the people who are causing issues. Rather be, I'm pretty sure, trade chat, PvP, uh, pretty much anywhere where issues are happening. Uh, so moving on, here goes uh, another comment. DCO is straight trash. I don't like you people. It's like, nah, DCO is awesome. And ever since the beginning, it still is sometimes. It's fun getting feats when grinding for them. Getting the CR up, experiencing new stuff to the game, etc. 100% of those players don't know. But what I think of most players is, fuck you to the scammers, fakes, and crybabies. And I appreciate the real helpful, fun players. So that's what DCO fans had to say. And Kim Kaylee. Uh, or Sim, I probably said your name wrong, says, When I play DCO, and what makes me want to get on every day, to be honest, I think DCO is a pay-to-win game, and I'm premium. Uh, but I play the game because it makes it fun for me to fly, run around, and with my self-made character. And I love to change styles of my characters and play the missions with my friends, but I hate to have to be legendary or to buy episodes just to get better. I think it's not fair to make a game like this that is hard to a pay to win game. So that's what uh, Sim Kaylee had to say, or Kim, sorry if I said your name again, uh, wrong. And moving on to Enoplate. One, to be honest, the only, way, only reason I play DC is for my friends. And number two, the community is trash. There you go, the number one thing he had to say, uh, pretty much short story. Uh, that's what he had to say there. So, Money Mike Production. I think this is no game that compares to D2O. Oh, I think there is no game that compares to D2O. But it is low key getting worse and worse every day. Hopefully, Stats Matter will fix the game. Uh, moving on to some things that are more uh, put in. This guy put a whole bunch in his things. He says, Why do I play D2O every day? I play D2O for three reasons. First, I play D2O because it's one of the biggest talked about games. For the simple fact that the game has been around for almost six years and I've been playing since day one. Secondly, this game was known as the biggest superhero game ever, being that it is the first MMO superhero game where you can make your own character interact with other iconic characters like Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman. Thirdly, the main reason why I always come back to DCO is because the game is always expanding. Not in ways a lot of players like, but there are players that love this game so much because of the variety of PvE activities. On the other hand, the PvP side, which is also really big, doesn't have a variety of things to choose from because PvP updates or expansions come out almost every other year. Now what do I think about the community? The community is really filled with several selfish complaining, deriding wannabe controlling inconsiderate assholes. 
Sorry about my poor choice of words. The DCO community has went through hell and back and then back to hell. You can't be civilized, dull conversation, or even recruitment without someone calling you a bum. Some bee or duck or just because you didn't want to scrim or give them a free aura. Which ticks me off because new players come up and they ask you or bug you about an aura. If there was in any way to make the community better, nobody would try it because they're all D-heads. I think the worst thing about the community is the broker because how bad people take advantages of it and then complain whenever nobody buys the shit that people want in there because of how much they have made of the cost of that item. In conclusion, DCO is probably the worst gaming community ever and will probably never be better than it is now. If you really want to discuss, you should probably make a chat for this or a live stream on DCO and the community will really get involved. Now I believe I wouldn't mind doing that, I wouldn't mind making a live stream right now, I'm just going through and reading uh, as a community what you guys have to say. So I'm uh, moving on. Uh, this guy says he's been playing DC for six years, he still likes the game, and he's tried other games, but he's always been coming back to this one. I believe the game had potential to make a comeback, it is DC Universe, so there are always going to be DC fans of the comments, and there will always be people playing this game. This community has a lot of trolls, but you know, with some of the positive players out there, the devs just need to learn to listen to some of our ideas, that's all. Some are great ideas, some are bad, but if they will listen, I believe that this game can make great improvement. Which is also something I have to say that is uh, really, really smart that he said, and I agree. Uh, Demonic J says that he gets on just to do him, to relax and be himself. Act the fool, bump music, and he likes to play on all of his tunes in the PvP Watchtower. But when new content comes out, he just likes to be helpful as he can to his league. Right now, he's just having fun. So, uh, moving on to the next thing, he says he likes stats revamp and hopes that the powers will still be able to do decent damage and he wants to know if I could tell him when the powers are all I, I can't really tell you that right now because I honestly really don't know myself so moving on to the next thing uh, the homie error says that he plays this game because of the friends and somewhat the game itself is addictive when running content and he loves hearing people argue and yelling at each other or trolling others number two this community is so immature and toxic Especially PvP, people get mad over something so small, holding a circle on another player to use cheese tactics to win. Oh, he said he just needs cheese tactics to win. That's his answer. So uh, that's what's up with you, Error. And uh, moving on to a lot of the other things, we're not going to really read through much more of these. There are a lot of comments. Like I said, if you guys want to read through, you guys can go and check them out. Uh, moving on, let's go ahead and see if we can find a good one. Uh, if I'm not reading a lot of you guys' comments, you know, we're probably, I don't even know where we're at in the time. I'm just reading on. And uh, hopefully you guys have a lot of things to say about this. Uh, so, moving on to, let's check this guy out, Wreck It Punk. To be the best at it, this is why he played the game. He said he plays it to be the best at it. Uh, if it was this game, I never really knew anything about. I had it for about three years, and you think I would be good. I spent two years without sub, and then after I found out about the sub, so I'm stuck at 184 at mental. Also, since I can't be on much, that's another reason I jump on to be updated on what's going on in the community or the game in general. So he's an average player. He gets on when he can't get on, and pretty much, you know, he just enjoys uh, what's being brought to the community. So moving on to the homie Unbound Limits says that see here is the thing. DC is a fun game and I play it because it's all about superheroes and your costumes created hero or your custom created hero. Playing with other people is cool especially seeing other people's creativity on building their hero slash villain. I believe that this game is super fun and it is an addiction or is it an addiction. So that's what he said and moving on to... Uh, the game is awesome at first on the homie mind place tricks. He says the game is awesome at first. I don't play a lot anymore, but to me, the reason I kept playing was because of the people that I have met on the game. The reason I say that the game is awesome at first is because lately they just haven't added much serious content in my opinion. So uh, overall, and the very last comment that we see is DC dying. Overall, from everyone's comments that we have read. I have to say, me personally, I do not believe the game is dying. I do not believe the game will die anytime soon. 
and uh, for me personally my feedback on why I get on this game every day uh, which I have been wanting to answer after reading all of you guys' comments uh, just before I finish this off the reason why I play this game every day and why I get on and what do I think about the community is uh, pretty much I get on this game every day to chill with friends that I have met on here and that I probably would uh, not be playing you know any other games with to this day if it wasn't for uh, you know people I met on here uh, anyway moving on though uh, I play this game because you know the people on here are fun the community could be better uh, I don't like the way that uh, you know obviously like you guys are saying people talk in trade chat and uh, use trade chat to argue in when it is meant for trading uh, the community could be a lot better I don't like the fact that you know people get on and usually some people just get on to troll and argue uh, like you know the homie curse said as well you know there are the few rotten tomatoes and there are the few good people on this game who have uh, came to help people and you know those who come to troll but pretty much the reason I get on here is to hang with friends do my dailies uh, I play this game because there's not really any other game I like to play uh, so that's another reason why I get on here daily and other than that I mean honestly I really don't have much to say uh, I, I just love the game I love playing DC I love having to you know have multiple items you can go and choose from and you know decorating your base uh, customizing your outfit there's things you can do on this game that you can't do on any other game so uh, pretty much long story short uh, this game is unique I love it because you know obviously I get to help you guys in the community on my channel uh, I get to go and actually you know do things that you wouldn't be able to do in any other game like uh, PvP that's like really close up with the combat uh, the powers on this game as well I have to say is another reason why I like it because other games when you play other MMOs they have things like only like four little powers you can use while DC has an entire loadout you have six powers not including the trinkets that you have, the orbital strikes, the supply drops, uh, pretty much all of those things that you can combine together to pretty much make uh, your gaming experience pretty fun. Now, if this uh, game had a lot more better management when it came to, uh, you know, the trolls and trade chat, if we had a global chat, if moderators were on more, if, you know, DLCs were being pushed to where they were hard, to where you wouldn't know if you were going to be able to beat it or not if you wanted even if you had the greatest gear i think this game would be a lot better you know it's not really challenging like it used to be but at the same time it is still addicting seeing that it is the only game set in the dc universe that is an mmo and uh pretty much other than that i don't think there really is any other reason i play this game i get on do my dailies uh enjoy the ideas the cosmetic items the gear pretty much everything that uh makes me want to get on this game i enjoy everything that uh dc creates uh i think the community like i said could be a lot better but other than that uh that's why i play this game every day uh i don't know if that was kind of complicated if anybody could sum up pretty much why you think i play the game in the comment sections down below then uh you know that'll be great but other than that thank you guys for throwing your opinions out uh this is probably kind of a little bit of a complex video uh, if you guys want to leave some more feedback on uh, other reasons why you play this game or pretty much, you know, anything that you think about this game, don't feel uh, like you can't. Go ahead and leave a comment down below uh, for the people's comments that I've read. Very, very good responses. And uh, other than that, Soji Mentor TGN, thank you for coming through once again for another video. And I'm going to be rocking off some really, really, really good videos in the future. Uh, we are very close to hitting 5K. So uh, once again, guys, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for supporting. Uh, drop a like on this video. And as soon as 5K hits, we're going to make the community have a whole load of fun. Because as you guys know, we're going to be doing the Mentor 5K meetup event. So other than that... Uh, it's OG Mentor TGN. Thank you guys for sticking through. If you stuck through through the whole video, uh, love everybody. Love you guys in the community. And uh, let's go ahead and hit next video. And you know, hopefully it'll be a great one. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys.